how to import the Unreal animation into the Cascader. So first of all, we will have to select the sample scene. This is the great thing here in the Cascader. So you can see they have already prepared the skeletons uh, from the Unreal. I'm using always uh, the UR5 Queenie. Why? Because this is very close to the G9 characters uh, for the um, for this skeleton, I don't know, for the size and so on. So for me, this is much better to work with this. I'm clicking on it and this is loading our scene. Okay, this is loaded. And now uh, I will show you the trick how to, how to make it work. So first of all, we have to click here and select to show only the join modes. Here it is. You have to select all of them like this. They are yellow, they are selected. Then we are clicking on the file, import FBX, then animation to selected object. Very important. Now we're going to our folder where has been uh, saved our animation. Double click on it and let's wait the magic. The magic is done. But as you can see, this is uh, in, the wrong, uh, in the wrong direction. Normal. Very normal. It happens. So don't change anything here. Don't touch it. Now let's go to the scene settings. Here, if you will scroll a little bit down, you can see the fixed rotation. This is very easy to manipulate with the characters like this here, so they will not rotate you to the size, but they will just jump to the position which you want. So then we are selecting the rotator. This is letter E on the keyboard. And as you can see, we have the letter F here, which is saying that we have selected the fixed rotation. And with the one magic movement, yeah, this is the in the correct rotation. So now I will deselect it. Uh, I'm working uh, here always with the posing mode, so it makes me much easier. I will take off this, don't, don't forget to take off this uh, checkbox from here. And as you can see, we are in the cascader with our pose a little bit broken, but this is normal. So you can just move a little bit the hand and then work with, the, um, with this animation in the cascader. Another thing, if you will jump from one frame to another, you will see that this is in the wrong size because of course we have changed just this, this um, frame. We don't need the other one. So you simply remove them by selecting and clicking the letter F on your keyboard. This will remove the all unnecessary frames. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the button which will do remove all of them together. So I'm doing it like this, but basically it just take a second. Okay, so we are ready to make the animation into the cascader.